Hello and welcome to Storybook Fun. I'm Mr. Bill, at least that's what they call me here at the Orange County Library System. I'm one of the storytellers and this story program is designed for children three to five, but everybody's welcome. It's based upon the precepts of uh, every child ready to read. Reading, writing, singing, talking, dancing, and I'm so glad you joined us today. Now parents, all you gotta do is join right in sing and dance and move around just when I start to do it. Yeah, and your children see you doing it and it becomes a lot of fun. I hope so. Let's get started, shall we? Let's sing our first song, our wake up song, and let's get Tommy to do it with us. Tommy, Tommy Tortuga. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Tommy, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, good, oh boy. Were you ready to sing along? Yeah, sing Tommy's part. What are you gonna sing, Tommy? I'm fine! Okay, yeah, whenever you hear Tommy say that, you sing it too. Ready, here we go. Well, hello everybody, and how are you? I'm fine! Well, hello everybody, and how are you? I'm fine! It's a beautiful day outside, and it's great to be alive. Well, hello everybody, and how are you? I'm fine! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Let's try it again, you ready? Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. All right, you ready? Here we go. Well, hello, everybody, and how are you? I'm fine. Well, hello, everybody, and how are you? I'm fine. It's a beautiful day outside, and it's great to be alive. Well, hello, everybody, and how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, good job, Tommy. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's do some waking up. You ready? Let's start by waking up our feet. Can you do that? Oh yeah, I got four of them. Okay, let's give it a try, shall we? Wake up feet, wake up feet. How are you? How are you? Good morning to my feet, good morning to my feet. I love you, I love Oh, how fast can you go? Woo! Oh, you can go real fast. Let's wake up those knees now, ready? Wake up knees, wake up knees. How are you? How are you? Good morning to my knees, good morning to my knees. I love you, I love you. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can wake up our belly button, shall we? You ready? Here we go. Wake up, <laughs> wake up belly, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's silly. Oh my. Let's see if we can wake up our shoulders. Can you get your shoulders up to your ears? Let's try, ready? All right, here we go. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders. How are you? How are you? Good job. Now try this, put your hand on top of your shoulder. Good morning to my shoulder, good morning to my shoulder. Oh, I love you. I love you. Can you reach over and touch your... Good job, all right. Let's wake up those fingers now, you ready? Wake up fingers. Wake up fingers! Oh. Tommy. I'm just kidding. How are you? How are you? Good morning to my fingers. Good morning, my fingers. I love, I love you. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> oh my, well that was fun. Yeah, it's always good to get going in the morning. Do that gross body movement, yeah. That, did you know that helps you get ready to read? Gets you help ready to write when you get those gross motor movements going, yeah. Well, hey look, look at the letter today. Oh, I know this one, it's a, it's a B. A B, yeah, it is. There's the big B, or the little B, the capital B, the lowercase b, and that's called the uppercase B, but they both make the same sound. Do you know what sound a B makes, Tommy? B, B. That's right, B, B. That's right. Can you think of any words that start with that? Oh yeah, yeah, I can think of a lot of words. There's just so many words that start with B. Oh yeah, all right, well, what's one of them? How about bus? Oh, bus! Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Bus! Oh, oh, I've got one right here. One of my favorites. 
Bananas. Oh, I like bananas too. Yeah. Oh my. Let's see. Oh, how about boy? Oh yeah, boy. That's a good one. And oh, we got one. Ball. Ball. Oh yeah. Do you have any at home? Are you thinking of some? Here's some. You can find a lot of these here. What's that? It's a book. It's a blue book. Blue book. Oh my goodness, you're right. There's so many words. Here's one right here. Box. And here's another one. Uh oh, I got it upside down. There. Mr. Bill. What? That doesn't start with B. It's a door. That's a D. Oh, I know, but look what's inside. A bear! <laughs> you got me on that one. And we can't forget about bath. Oh my goodness, in a bathtub. Wow, that's a lot of words that start with the letter B. Oh my. Oh, you know another one? Beast. Beast? What's a beast? Well, animals that are wild are called beasts, yeah. That reminds me of a story. Oh, good, I'd like to hear one of those stories. Okay, well, you sit back here, Tommy, and I'll tell the story. Yeah, let me get all the B words up. Bath, box, bear, oh my, boy, ball, book, banana, and bus. Oh my, parents, that's a fun game. Go around the house and look for letters or words that start with the letter B. Yeah, and say them. Have some fun with that everywhere you go. Well, this story takes place in the jungle. Oh my, let's take a look at this one. Now, there's a lot of trees in the jungle and one day, one of those trees fell over. Boom! And you know what happens? When a tree falls on its side and sits there for a long time, oh my, it starts to rot out and sometimes it'll get hollow on the inside. Yeah, and animals can make it their home. Well, not far from that tree was a bush. And inside that bush was a frog. Now, don't forget about the frog. Oh my goodness. Well, like I said, some animals make homes in those trees. And this little animal, you know what that is? A rabbit. Yeah, he would go in and sleep at night. And then he'd come out and he'd hop around and he'd look for something to eat. And then he'd go play. Whee! And then he'd go back at night and he'd go. And then he'd come out the next day and he'd hop around, he'd look for something to eat, and then he'd go play. Whee! And then he'd go back at night. Yeah, he'd sleep. And then he'd come out the next day and he'd hop around and he'd go play and he'd look for something to eat. Yeah! Well, while he was doing that, all of a sudden, a little caterpillar came crawling along. He climbed to the very top of the log and he said, I'm on top of the world! He'd never been so high before. And then he saw a hole in the log. He stuck his head in the hole and he said, hello! And he jumped back because he heard, hello, hello, hello! What was that? He tried it again. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! me. My goodness, he heard his own echo. And so he crawled into the log and he tried out his new voice. Now, parents, I want you to repeat after me. You ready? You're going to be my echo. And now do the movements too. That always helps to reinforce the words. You ready? This is what he said. I'm a mighty warrior, son of the long one. Smash the rhinoceros into the ground. I grind the elephant into dust. Well, he was having so much fun with his big voice. And who do you think came home? 
the rabbit. He heard all that. He said, uh-oh, is somebody in my home? And he heard the voice. Ready? Here we go. I'm a mighty warrior, son of the long one. I smashed the rhinoceros into the ground. I grind the elephant into dust. And when he heard that, he goes, oh no, there's a terrible beast in my home. What am I gonna do? Oh no. He hopped off and he ran around until he found leopard. Now leopard, he said, leopard, leopard, there's a terrible beast in my home. I can't get him out, can you help me? And the leopard said, yeah, I'll take care of him. And the leopard crawled over to the log and the leopard, and with the rabbit behind him, and the leopard said, who's in the home of my friend the rabbit? And the voice from inside said, I'm a mighty warrior, son of the long one. I smashed the rhinoceros into the ground. I cried the elephant into dust. And when the leopard heard that, he went, ow, uh oh, I just remembered, I left something up in a tree. I gotta go get it, ah! And off he went. Oh, he was afraid. Well, the rabbit said, oh no, what am I gonna do? And he hopped around until he found <laughs> rhinoceros. Oh, rhinoceros, rhinoceros, I need some help. Oh, there's a terrible beast in my home, can you help me out? And the rhinoceros said, <laughs> because that's what rhinoceros would say. Sure, I'll take care of it. And he stomped over to the log, with the rabbit behind him. The rhinoceros said, who's in the home of my friend, the rabbit? And the voice from inside said, I'm a mighty warrior, son of the long one. I smashed the rhinoceros into the ground. I cried the elephant into dust. And when the rhinoceros heard that, oh no, I remember, I forgot, uh, uh, I need to take a mud bath. And off he ran. Oh my goodness. Well, the rabbit said, oh no, I can't go in my home. What am I gonna do? And he hopped off until he found <coughs> elephant. He said, elephant, elephant, can you help me? There's a terrible beast in my home, I can't go in. And elephant said, because ah! that's what elephants say. Yes, I'll take care of it. And the elephant stomped, boom, 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 over to the log. And the elephant said, ah! who's in the home of my friend, the rabbit? And the voice from inside said, I'm a mighty warrior, son of the long one. I smashed the rhinoceros into the ground. I cried the elephant into dust. And when the elephant heard that, oh no, I just remembered, I've got to drink a lot of water today. I better get started. And off he ran. Oh no. The rabbit said, oh, there's a terrible beast in my home. I can't go home anymore. I got to find someplace else to live. He started to hop away when from behind the bush out leaped a frog. That's right, you remember. And the frog said, ribbit, ribbit, can I give it a try? And the rabbit said, what? You're just a little frog. I had a leopard, a rhinoceros, and an elephant here. There's no way a little frog can help me. Remember, he was here the whole time. He heard and saw everything. Oh, let me give it a try. And so the frog hopped over to the log and the frog said, <clears throat> Ribbit, Ribbit, who's in the home of my friend, the rabbit? And the voice from inside the log said, I'm a mighty warrior. And the frog said, save it. Let me tell you who I am. I am the son of the green and warty one. I have a long tongue and I love to eat bugs and insects, if you know what I mean. Well, the minute the caterpillar heard that, he crawled up, right up through the hole, and he said, oh, <laughs> it's just me. I'm just a little caterpillar. I, I was just having some fun. I never had a big voice before. Yeah. <laughs>
And when the rabbit saw that it was just a caterpillar that made all that noise, he fell over backwards laughing. <laughs> and the frog started to laugh too. <laughs> and the caterpillar crawled off as quick as he could. And that's the story of the terrible beast. Oh my. You know, parents, caregivers, that story's been around for a long time, hundreds of years. Yeah, it's a call and response stories, and those are great for this age, yeah, because they help with sentence structure, start saying things in a complete sentence, memory, and also vocabulary. Give it a try. Tell the story, have your child tell them back to you. Yeah, get that call and response going. Well, while we're talking about terrible bees, I thought it would be great if we were some terrible beasts. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, stretch way up high. Oh, can you touch the sky? Can you reach down and touch the ground? Can you reach back up and touch your nose? Can you reach down and touch your toes? You ready? If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. roar. If you're lying and you know it, give a roar. roar. If you're lying and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're lying and you know it, give a roar. roar. Oh, that was good. If you're an elephant and you know it, give a trumpet. If you're an elephant and you know it, give a trumpet. If you're an elephant and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're an elephant and you know it, give a trumpet. <coughs> Can you think of any others? What? A monkey? Okay. If you're a monkey and you know, go. <laughs> if you're a monkey and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a monkey and you know it, go. <laughs> you got another one? Oh, crocodile. If you're a crocodile and you know it, give a jump, jump, jump. If you're a crocodile and you know it, give a jump, jump, jump. If you're a crocodile and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a crocodile and you know it, give a jump, jump, jump. Any more? Oh, a snake. Yeah. If you're a snake and you know it, give a hiss. If you're a snake and you know it, give a hiss. If you're a snake and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a snake and you know it, give a hiss. If you're a cheetah and you know it, go real fast. If you're a cheetah and you know it, go real fast. If you're a cheetah and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a cheetah and you know it, go real fast. If you're a giraffe and you know it, what's a giraffe sound like? I don't know. I think they say they bleat or ba, but all I ever see them go is. <laughs> oh, I get one. If you're a sloth and you know it, go real slow. If you're a sloth and you know it, Fun. <laughs> hey, let's go hunting. You ready? Yeah, only when we go hunting, when we catch the animal, we'll put it in something and then we'll let it go. You ready? Let's give this a try. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. You ready? A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a bear and put him in a chair. And then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a duck and put him in a truck. And then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a whale and put him in a pail. 
I know it looks like a bucket, but another word for bucket is pail. Either that's a very small whale or that's a big bail. And then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a mouse and put him in a house. Hi, mouse. And then we'll let him go. Good job. Oh, that's fun. I like that. You know, parents, rhyming is one of the best things you can do for your children at this age. Yeah, it gets them ready to uh, know the sounds of words, and they start to anticipate the next word with the word with the clues from the pictures. We've got a fox in a box, and now we've got a bear in a chair. And what was that whale in? A pail. And how about the duck? Why look, he's riding in a red truck. Vroom. And there's a mouse, he's in a house. It looks like the perfect size for a mouse too, doesn't it? I like that. Well, you know what? While we're looking at bees, let's see how to draw one. Yeah, what you do, you can take your finger, put it at the top, and go straight down. And then you come back up to the top, and then you loop around once and twice. And you got a big B, a capital B, an uppercase B. Now, let's go over here. For the little B, the lowercase B, a straight line down, and you just go once around, down at the bottom. See that? Yeah, that's a fun thing to do. You want to give it a try? Yeah, go ahead. Give it a try yourself. Down and around and around. Down and just once around. Oh, yeah. You know, another great thing to do, parents, is you can do these bubble letters. Yeah. And then you can have your child take their marker and they can mark right in the middle of the letter like that. Yeah, take a screenshot of that. Okay. Well, I don't know about you. I had a fun day with all the bees. Yeah, there's so many bee words. Yeah. In fact, even the insect, bee. Bumblebee. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Oh, Tommy, I'm so glad you came back. Yeah. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. Oh. Well, you know, you shouldn't play with bumblebees. Oh, right. <laughs> well, can you sing your song where we say so long to all of our friends? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you joined us today. Make sure if you're not already doing it, go to Beanstack, yeah, and log in your reading minutes uh, and also check out some of our other videos. There's a lot of great videos online with the YouTube channel with uh, the Orange County Library System. We've got a lot of great ones. So check them all out. I'm so glad you joined me today. You ready, Tommy? Yep. Okay, here we go. So long, friends. So long, friend. So long, friend. It's time to say so long. Take care. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect. Thank you.